Shalom and welcome once again to Treasures of the Torah. I'm Pastor Matt McEwen. This week our Torah portion is Kedoshim, and it gets its name from this verse where it says, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them to be holy, that they must be holy. Set apart, different. And so some specific rules and guidelines are given in the Torah on how people should behave. But something comes down to us from Nachmanides that is very important and it needs to be mentioned here. It says this, The meaning of this is that since the Torah has warned against forbidden sexual relations and forbidden foods, while permitting one's relations with his wife and eating meat and wine, the lustful person can find a place to wallow in fornication with his wife or wives and be guzzlers of wine and gluttons of meat and converse at will of all licentious things since no, no prohibition against this is specifically enumerated in the Torah. He can be a hedonist with the Torah's permission. Therefore, after enumerating the things that it forbids entirely, the Torah says, be holy. In other words, constrain yourself also in that which is permitted. This is huge, and I think it's a very important idea. I went to a private high school, and in my senior year, we had a theme verse. Every senior class picked a theme verse, and ours was from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, where Paul says, everything is permissible for me, but not everything is beneficial. He says, isn't food for the stomach and the stomach for food, but what we need to do is honor the Lord in what we do. Sometimes we are instructed to have common sense in our religious experience, to do things in moderation. If there are things that the Torah does not specifically forbid in a certain way, or specifically permit in a certain way, we need to take it upon ourselves to follow the orders of the Torah the instructions of the rest of Scripture to follow godly counsel and to follow the influence of the Spirit in our lives. Just because the Torah gives permission to, uh, to eat food and to drink wine doesn't mean that we should be gluttons or drunkards. You know, it's interesting that this is exactly the accusation that was made against Yeshua by some of the religious leaders. They call him a glutton and a drunk. The Torah spells out certain things in a very specific way. And when it doesn't, we're supposed to use the guidelines that we are given and then to live our lives according to that standard. And as it says in Pirkei Avot, we are also to put a fence around the Torah. In other words, if the Torah says that this particular thing is bad, well, perhaps let's put a fence around that to make sure that we don't go all the way up to that line. As we've mentioned many times before, this is really borne out in Yeshua's lesson about murder and about adultery. He says, if you just think it in your mind, then you've already committed the act. This is putting a fence of safety around the Torah. What about you in your life? Are you ever tempted to, to sort of bend the line a little bit? Are you tempted to to try to see how far you can go without actually breaking a rule. This is a dangerous practice, and it's not good for us in our spiritual lives. We need to be living lives within the constraints of Torah, yes, but sometimes putting constraints on our own selves so that we don't go too far. Thank you for joining me this week for Treasures of the Torah. Once again, I'm Pastor Matt McEwen, and if you'd like to study where I study, Go to shuvu.tv, S-H-U-V-U dot TV, and fill out an application for our multi-year Messianic Jewish yeshiva. Thank you so much. Shabbat Shalom.